Good morning. It's another beautiful morning here at the Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. I am heading to, oh look, there's the boat, the ferry boat coming in, right there. I am headed to the restaurant because I am going to pick up my lunch. It's a little early, but it's actually perfect timing. You really want to try and eat either early or late. That way you avoid big crowds. So that's what I like to do. I like to try and eat either early or late. So I'm eating a little early right now. Probably eat later tonight. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my walk show you anything interesting that I stumble upon along the way and we'll talk about the day and just getting getting going okay here is my kids sushi I've been eating a lot of kids meals because it's just easier I don't eat a whole lot, so there's my yogurt and fruit. I had two choices of sides, so that's what I got. And here, look how cute! It's got Mickey! That is definitely a Mickey sushi. Oh, this is supposed to look like a Mickey too, but he fell over. Maybe we'll fix that and take a cute picture. It also comes with, oh, look at this. That makes it easier to use chopsticks for kiddos. And it comes with a water, lots of other important things too, like soy sauce, the good stuff too. All right, I'm gonna chow down. So what we have here is some tuna with Cucumber around it, really delicious. Shrimp tempura with avocado. Cucumber roll. And we have just some rice here. This might be flavored, I haven't tried it yet. And then this is super interesting. It's just like a chicken nugget, which is a great idea. I love that they have something that's like kid friendly, but still sushi. So, um, yeah, so good. So far, so good. I'm really liking it. I just finished up my lunch. Now I'm heading back to the room. It's funny, I was just about to say how much quieter I think this side of the resort probably is. And it's like super loud today. So I actually got a kid's meal. I didn't eat the sides, bring them back with me. But I do have to say, it's quite a bit of food. And it was $9 after my one dollar discount and um yeah i i think it's the way to go for someone like me who doesn't eat a lot and i don't have anyone to share with um i find that ordering kids meals when i can and when it's something that is interesting to me is like the perfect solution it does save money and that's great but it also isn't as wasteful as having a huge meal that you are paying more for as it is just to toss half of it so pretty satisfied so far let's talk a little bit about strategy just a little bit you guys know I am like big into planning my Disney vacations and I encourage people to plan and you don't have to necessarily stick to the plan. Like you don't have to like really, really, really stick to every minute of every plan, but you have to have an idea of what it is you want to accomplish. And frankly, I think that it's important to not only have an idea of what you want to accomplish, but to take into account what your family or yourself, if you're traveling solo like I am this time, is capable of. For example, today is a really, really warm day. It's about 90 degrees, which compared to some of the other days that I've had here, is pretty warm. 
Now, my plan is to go to Animal Kingdom today, and I'll be honest with you. If this was normal times, if I didn't have to do a park pass reservation ahead of time, I wouldn't be going to Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom is such a hot park. I find that it's just, it's a, it's a park I struggle in when it's really, really hot out. But with the way things are here at Disney right now, I have to go there even just to check in if I want to go anywhere else on property. So that's a little bit of a downside, okay? No way around it. I'm not crazy about how that is on this day in particular. Now I also have one more Animal Kingdom day tomorrow and we will cross that bridge when we get there. But since it is so hot out, like you guys know, I had another relaxed day. I had some lunch. I went to Kona Cafe and got some lunch and I didn't even start getting ready to go until just recently. So I did my hair, I did a little bit of makeup, and now I'm starting to think about heading out to Animal Kingdom. Now another reason that I'm doing this later in the day is because I've noticed that wait times for rides actually get shorter later in the day. So I think that I'll be able to do more if I wait and then close out the park rather than rope dropping. I'm sure rope dropping would have been fine as well, but I just didn't want to go back and forth. One of the reasons I'm definitely not doing that is because of this hotel that I'm at right now. Polynesian, you guys know that that's where I'm staying right now, is a little bit out of the way when it comes to getting to places that aren't the Magic Kingdom. Epcot would be super convenient to get to if the monorail was running, but it isn't. And I noticed that the bus service is still happening as though the monorail was here. In other words, the bus to Epcot comes much less frequently because normally you'd be able to take the monorail. And what I thought was, you would be able to get on a bus easier or that they would send more buses, but that doesn't seem to be the case, at least not right now. So I'm kind of dealing with that and we're just kind of going with the flow. So Animal Kingdom, I have actually not seen any buses to Animal Kingdom come by in all the time that I have been sitting at the bus stop, which has been a lot. So I have this feeling that I'm going to be waiting quite a while when I do go down there, which is fine. It's not a big deal. And then once I'm done and ready to leave, I'm probably going to be waiting a while as well, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. But the question is, how long do I want to be in the park and how much of the hot part of the day do I want to be spending in the park? Because another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of shade is taken up by people who just want to soak up the shade. So even if you want to go get some food or whatever, I haven't had the best chance finding a place to sit. And although it's kind of easy in some circumstances, like every once in a while I can get lucky because I'm just one person and I can scoot into a corner and sit on the ground, um, it's, it's not a guarantee. So I have to think about how I want to do this and if I really want to burn myself out because tomorrow is going to be another big day. I'm checking out of the Polynesian and into Old Key West. So I don't want to get too hot and then that affect my move tomorrow. Anyway, you got to know you. You got to know your family members. I know myself, which is why I am waiting a little bit longer before I head out. We are here at Animal Kingdom. It's about 10 before two, and, or excuse me, 10 before three. And we're heading into Dino Land USA because we have a mission. We do. We're gonna try and win one of those cute little plushy dinosaurs and probably eat a giant hot dog. So let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, we've got three chances to win a dinosaur. Let's go. See if we can do it. I don't know. Feeling optimistic. Okay, took me three tries, but look at what I got. <laughs> I have wanted one of these since I saw that they came out here at Animal Kingdom and this is the one I wanted because <laughs> I really like Triceratops. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. 
It did take me three tries, so each ticket is $5. It costs $15 to get this little guy. You have to go to the shop, stand in line, buy tickets there. You can't buy tickets at these little, um, what are they called? Game booths. And then you, you know, play the game. Hopefully win the prize. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I decided to leave Animal Kingdom because it was just way too hot and head for Magic Kingdom instead. So that's where we're at right now. And I have some food waiting for me at Cosmic Haze. So we're gonna head over there now and looks like the people mover is dead on the tracks. <laughs> Day three, I think. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to ride it today, but I guess maybe that won't happen. We'll have to see. Well, here it is. My dad was like, you have to try these hot dogs. And so I have hunted one down and here we have it. I'm gonna put some ketchup on it. I'm not filming myself eating this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. What are the odds that I'll end up with one of those before the week is through? Heading out, I got my frozen drink. Now I'm gonna walk back to the room. <laughs> my goodness, was it hot today? It was like 90 degrees all the way up until the evening which i know the sun hasn't wholly set yet but still it's been cooling off before now not today like i told you after i got done with animal kingdom i headed out and my plan was to take the bus to magic kingdom and that's what i did but whew, was that walk out of animal kingdom hot and then the bus for magic kingdom took forever but at least I was in the shade, so I was like, whatever. I'll just wait it out. Magic Kingdom wasn't so bad. Mainly because there weren't a whole lot of big lines. So anytime I got hot, I just jumped in a line. But still, the damage was done. It's alright though. I'm okay. I know there are a few people watching thinking, oh no, she's too hot. I got a drink. But now, I'm gonna make my way up the stairs. No one wants to listen to me huff and puff while trying to stay coordinated doing that. We'll see you when we get back to the room. Oh, back in the room, I've started to get myself all undone and cleaned up from the day. It was so hot today. I know I just said that, but it was like wicked hot. And that's okay, even though it did take a lot out of me. This is why I say what we talked about earlier and how important it is to make sure you understand yourself and plan your days accordingly. I saw so many people in the parks today trying to push through. And I understand why everyone wants to push through, but at the same time, it's not good for anybody. So you have to understand who you're with, what their needs are, and try and accommodate those as best you can. You also have to prepare, hydrate, and eat right before you head out. But that's a discussion for another day. Now I'm going to jump in the shower, and I think that's where we're going to wrap up the evening. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed this little adventure we had today. Tomorrow is another chapter in this whole crazy saga we are moving from the polynesian to old key west and i cannot wait to tell you all about it this is another resort that's got a lot of history it's it's pretty exciting so make sure you join us for that one until then have a good restful night you're gonna need it because tomorrow's gonna be a big day
bye.